good morning. It's uh, not quite 2 a.m. I made the mistake of laying down when I finished moving stuff uh, into the storage area, all books and everything, and uh, fell asleep early, and then wake up, you know, just before 10 o'clock, between 9 and 10 o'clock. And I've been up ever since. I can't get back to sleep. Anyway, the title for today's uh, video is The Magic of Making It Go Away. And by the way, before I even read the blurb, I'm going to name some names in this thing, including the people that have been harassing me, especially the one person who made an agreement with me and broke that agreement. Now the blurb. <laughs> As I've mentioned in previous videos, I have friends who claim they can make bad things, like court records, simply disappear so that the courts cannot find them. I wish I knew how to make such magic work. In fact, it would be nice if I could make it disappear from my mind. This whole experience of dealing with lawsuits and criminal attempts to take what was given to me by a lady who loved me drains my energy. Some of my friends tell me to stop resisting, that I should just allow them to take my stuff. To me, that would be allowing the criminality of a corrupt system to continue depriving people of our natural rights. Folks, do you not understand that we are dealing with an evil and criminal cabal, probably even demons from non-human realms? Failure to speak out and stand up to this travesty only prolongs future suffering Oh, it only prolongs human suffering. Important choices are not easy ones to make. As I said before I read the blurb, the names of some of the people involved in this is Judge George D. Turner, who, face to face, seems like a nice guy. Kimberly B. Rizanka, who is the attorney who made an oral agreement with me, but never backed it up, although I have it in, a, in an unrebutted affidavit that she made the deal with me, uh, that she would they would not try to take my home if I allowed them power of attorney to sell the Merritt Island property, which is Dr. Mary's property. That was never confirmed in writing, which means it the, the whole sale of that property was fictitious, and I still own it. By law, I still own it because they breached the agreement that I made and did not put it in writing. Anyway, the other one is Carla Fiordo, F-A-J-O-R-D-O, who is the new attorney in the new lawsuit that was filed in 2014 to try to take my home unlawfully again. And uh, Bruce H. Kaufman, who is actually the attorney who keeps appearing before Judge Turner, because Carla lives in South Florida and doesn't actually make the trip to North Florida to appear in person. She has uh, Bruce Kaufman appearing for her. So these are the people that are involved in trying to steal my home. And the most critical one, again, is Kimberly B. Rosanka. Uh, she is absolutely without conscience to make an agreement with me orally, fail to put it in writing, and then breach the agreement within a few months of making the agreement. I think it was March. Uh, it was it was a, uh, December 20, 2009, that the agreement was made. And then by already by March, there were papers being filed to take the house that I live in, even though it had been agreed orally that they weren't going to do that. That was the bargaining chip. I, I gave them permission to sell the other, the power to sell the other property, the Merritt Island property, but they had to leave the Thomas Drive property alone, unencumbered. They breached the agreement. So folks, we're dealing with dishonest people. We're dealing with a criminal element. The entire American system of jurisprudence is fiction. It is it has been co-opted. It does not obey the Constitution. It puts that in 
in name only, and it had left a few cases slip through to make it look like they're obeying the Constitution. But 95 plus percent of all the cases that go before the courts are criminal, criminally decided. They are not decided based on law. They are decided based on the bank's will, the will of the people who try to rule the world and have created de facto governments, de facto corporations. Well, they're not, corporations are automatically de facto. They're not real. They're not real. Only people are real. We are the real entities. The corporations are fictional entities. We are the natural, we come under natural law. They are under de facto or fictional law, not de jure or natural law. We need to get these things through our heads. We need to re-educate ourselves as to what's going on in our world. And we need to wrest control of our planet from these criminal demons and these criminal humans, if they're back they're human, uh, from meddling in in human affairs to the point where we are prisoners on our own planet where we are slaves and and if we owe taxes i mean i, I listened to who was it that i what his name i don't remember his name but i listened to a couple of videos actually of his where he re-emphasizes that we are we are the sovereigns we are the ones that have the power, but we've been cajoled and deceived into believing that they, the criminal element, has the power. And they're actually usurping our authority, our wealth, our uh, status as free, freely created and, and free human beings. They've, they've taken that away from us because of our ignorance. And because of their subtlety in the way that they've snuck the lies in a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, till we didn't notice that we had lost what was important and what was valuable. So I wish we could make the whole cabal criminal system disappear forever from anywhere in, in the universe. I don't think it serves a healthy purpose. I'm sorry, God. I disagree with you if you think it serves a healthy purpose. I think we would be much better off living like Anastasia and letting people discover truth without all of the subtleties and without all the lies and the deceptions being put in from every angle. If you think it's 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 some somehow advantageous to let demons run a run a planet or to run any part of your creation there's something there's something that just doesn't resonate with me with that which is why i say if, if you can't fix it take me out i don't want to be part of this freaking game that is a loser's game i don't want to be part of it i want to be part of something where truth is established and where freedom comes from understanding the truth and knowing who we are and i'm your son and if you want to throw me away and cast me away, do it. And don't ever bring me back into any life expression ever anywhere. Because I don't fucking want it. I don't want it. I want you to be God. And to take control of your creation. And I want you to make this evil bullcrap go away. It should never be allowed, it should have never been allowed to exist ever, anywhere, anywhere, at any time, anywhere. It's time to make it go away. Whether it's by magic or whatever method is used, it's time to end the freaking game that has enslaved your, your supposedly Creation after your own image and likeness, which is the human being. I'm a human being. And I want, I want to know my rights and I want to stand in truth and I want to help liberate humanity from the mess that we've been become entangled in. And I need help. I need help from brothers and sisters that love and I need help from you, God. What are you going to do? Namaste.